I'm meteorologist Darren Meyer. Hope you've had a nice Father's Day, uh, despite the fact that, uh, well, a good part of our area has gotten into some rain this afternoon, but much needed rain. So I think most of us uh, are probably okay with that. 83 today before the showers moved in in Eau Claire. That put us three degrees above average. And uh, there's our low temperature for today at 56, which is a very seasonable. Sunset will be at 855. We're just a few days away now from the summer solstice. That just technically means the official start of the summer season and technically the day with the longest amount of daylight, although we're basically there right now as well. Uh, looking at uh, the rain this afternoon and this evening, well, we've had pulses of showers and some thunderstorms, very weak ones, but containing some heavier rain, uh, lifting from south to north, and these have made it now all the way up in some of our northern counties. Notice how they're moving over the same area. So uh, unfortunately, there are some places uh, to the west of Eau Claire that really haven't seen very much uh, right in this uh, pathway here through Pepin and parts of Dunn County and Barron County, but to the east, well, some of the same places have picked up, well, more continual rain. And we can see that when we look at our rainfall amounts for today and notice both Winona and La Crosse, at least at those airport locations, have picked up now more than an inch of very beneficial rain. Now, those higher amounts have not translated farther north. Uh, some of this activity really has been weakening as it's been sliding north. So though we are getting rain, it's just not the same amount of uh, the same totals that we've seen in some of our southern counties. But again, we'll take every drop with these very dry and even drought conditions that have been developing. Temperature is being impacted by the rain now this afternoon, cooling into the 60s where we are seeing some rain, still in the 70s in places that remain dry. And it's also a bit humid out now. Dew points have been making their way back above 60 today. So that has helped to produce uh, some of the showers and some of the heavier downpours associated with them. Uh, we're pretty much in an anomaly though, temperature wise, you could see where those rain and cloud impacts are occurring locally. Meanwhile, still in the 80s down in the state capital, and then you jump out of the clouds in this weak disturbance and you're pushing 90 in parts of the Northern Plains. That is the weather headed our way for this week as we welcome summer on Wednesday. We're looking at a stretch of dry days. Good thing we're getting some rain today because it's going to be a while again before we have our next one. This will be coming with some early summer heat, a couple of breezy days as well to start off the work week. There's our low and a very benign uh, surface trough. There is a little bit of an upper reflection in here as well. So all that combining to lead to the beneficial rain. Meanwhile, pretty sunny off to the west. Another front coming through Montana parts of the Rockies, but again, we've got a several day stretch before we're going to be talking about rain chances again. For tonight, showers, maybe a thunderstorm, they will start to taper off later tonight. And then we're looking at, well, a mostly sunny sky returning for tomorrow. There is a small chance of a pop up shower somewhere, but really don't have it in the forecast as a far majority of us will stay dry. Otherwise, uh, looking at nights that will be generally around 60 or the low 60s. And as we go on into Tuesday, more sunshine and uh, likely getting up around that 90 degree mark. 63 for tonight, staying warmer as we do have clouds and still that chance of a few additional showers, but a very dry and hot forecast developing for the week ahead. We start to get uh, to that 90 uh, by Tuesday and look to stay right around that area right through Friday. Again, summer officially arrives on Wednesday. Next weekend, we do start to cool off as it does appear the next weather system does come into play by about next Sunday. That's the latest look at your weather. Join us tonight on WEAU 13 News at 10.